Hey guys, in the video I have for you today, the customer called and said he had, um, he couldn't light his furnace. He could light his hot water heater, but he just couldn't light his furnace. And he wanted a price on just lighting the furnace. Well, there were other things going on. So stay tuned, here we go. Yeah, that's the power for your furnace and this is an old furnace. Still hooked up. Valve's turned off. Hmm, that's not good. What? What are you? Doing? I oh. turned that valve off. Oh, you did? Yeah, I didn't know. That's why I was telling you. I didn't. I didn't see no red pot. I lit that gas thing several days ago, but it didn't have no damn button for me to do it. No, I don't it? want to turn that off. Okay. That's normally what we do when there's something wrong. No, I turned all that off, man. It was on. Okay. All right, so that I turned on. that off because I didn't, I couldn't light the pilot. No, oh, this is a, this pilot lights itself. It don't really have a pilot. It, it's self ignition. So, um, if it's not coming on, there's something wrong. Turn on. Let it see. It says it's in wait. What is that? Like I'm in a five minute time delay or something. Because we just turned off that power. So we gotta wait on it and see if it'll come on. I'm gonna take a good look at this, make sure. I don't see anything wrong. Well, I can't see anything in there. This furnace does not look as old as... Oh. Look at that. What is it? This flue pipe's not hooked up. Yeah. Uh-uh. You don't see what I saw? You see that? Right here. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's your Nope, it ain't hooked up. Let's see if I can put a screw in that. be a dual fuel um it's running in heat outside I can feel it you got a heat pump out there
Your blower's not coming on. So yeah, you have a dual fuel. It's both a heat pump and a furnace. in between red and green it says I'm getting a call 27 volts and let's see what we got in here This is a, I haven't worked on one of these before. Uh. Right now it ain't, it ain't working at all.
try this again. next to each other. My initial thoughts are this board here, maybe that board may be failing you, but I got to test it to make sure. I hope it's not a blow, uh, any of it, none of it's going to be cheap. If the board's not going to be cheap and I know that blower motor is not going to be cheap. I showed 27 volts there briefly. Testing between common and green. 27 volts. Hey, they gonna put that sand out on pole, eh? They're gonna put that satellite on a pole, ain't it? Yeah, yeah, okay. Alright, we got 27 volts to the board. And only. Fifteen volts on green to common. Hmm. Like I was telling her, I, I put that uh that pole mount on there for you. So within two to three weeks, give or take, we'll come back and get all that done. Yep. And, and bury them and bury the line. Uh -huh. Appreciate it, man. Okay, thank you so much. What baby? Where you at? Where? And I'm getting 11 volts oh, DC. Oh, I got to go in here and get 
27 volts. Fifteen volts. going to run it all for you now not even in cool really yes yeah, sir that that blower is not not working flashing red let me see if there's a this board up here. <clears throat> yeah, those codes are for this up here. There's no way for me to really jump this out and see if uh, the blower's any good. I can get off this board. <clears throat> I'm pretty convinced it's this board right here. Mm -hmm. It should be sending 24 volts to this little green wire right here. Mm -hmm. And it's not sending but 15. <laughs> so, um, I mean, even when it's unplugged, it's not but 15. Mm -hmm. So I can't get it right now anyway. So I'm going to pull up the um, manual on this and make sure I'm right. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll go from there. I'll have to contact you in the morning and let you know what, what we're going to have to do. Okay. But I do believe it is this board right here. Okay. What you think that board is? You talking about cost? Yeah. Oh, it could be anywhere from a couple hundred to five or six hundred. Mm -hmm. 
but yeah, I think that's what it is. All right, that might be a Maytag, but that name plate looked every bit like a Nordine. Either way, I've got to do a little bit of research and make sure I'm supposed to be getting a 24 volt signal down on that other board. I'm pretty sure that's what it is because I have all my thermostat wires there. That's what that is. That's, I mean, that's what it looks like. Wire for wire, that looks like thermostat wires instead of a communication wire. So I think I'm supposed to be getting 24 volts down on that board to tell it to bring on that variable speed motor. But I'm going to read up on it anyway. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.